Gah? Welcome, once again, to a me brawler crew battle. Don't mind me, just getting the basic setup started. Alright, so if you missed the previous two that I hosted, hello Phage, hello Big Lord. This is a week-long event between two of the Super Smash Brothers character courts. I hosted the Me Brawlers vs. the Jigglypuffs and the Me Brawlers vs. the Warios previously. And those are both archived on the channel. This week, we're having a JMU with the Banjo and Kazooie Discord, which I'm once again participating in. But our first two up are Crispo and Tom de Bomb, and I apologize in advance for any of the names that I'm inevitably going to mispronounce. Okay. Uh, they're rare to go. Pun intended. Seems like they got their stages figured out pretty quickly. Alright. Crispo the Brawler. Versus Tom de Bomb the Banjo. Most of our brawlers ended up using the same... Kind of the default brawler set for this matchup. The 1-3-1-2. Uh, Crispo is varying it up a little bit. I believe he's using a different up special. The Wonder Wing for the very early kill. Lands a rapid jab. Tomda loves those grenades. As stream regulars are aware, one of our regulars, Wickersham, is a banjo. Who's at a competitive skill level, so he shows up a lot. This is not a matchup that we're uh, very new to on the stream. Catches the egg. Doesn't matter, eats a fair. Crispo is struggling to land hits. That thrust uppercut was not enough to finish it. Another Wonder Wing, but he survives. Dash attack sends Banjo out. He is still hanging in there. Does he have any Wonder Wings left? I think he's out. It's always chaotic at the start of a stream, and these guys started within seconds. They were ready to go. Crispo eats another stock. This banjo loves his nair. Bear into fair. Crispo's shield is taking a lot of damage. Come on, Crisco. Crisco. Yeah, Crisco. He's so low. Oh, the Thrupper is still not enough. He's got to get at least one stock. I know you can do it. Eats a fair. Wonderwing off the side. Tom is playing very defensively, which he can afford to as a banjo. Oh, the grenade plus the dash attack is still not enough! Late Nair. Alas, the Thrupper kills. Banjo reminding us. 
that he is on the heavier side. Well, to be fair, there is two of them. Another fair... And the Wonder Wing decides it. That is three stocks off the Brawlers and one off of the Banjos. Go uh -huh. Tom with a clean opening for the Banjo side. Next up is me, and I'm going to need to take a moment to sort out stages. Looks like our starters are Final Destination, Battlefield, Town and City, and Pokemon Stadium 2, and Northern Cave. And our counter picks are Small Battlefield, Lilith, Smashville, and Yoshi's Story. I'm sorry, and Kalos. And we have three bands available. Tom is going to pick his bands. Hello, Peanut. Hello, Dark Side. Bum, bum, ba -da -ba -bum. I'm on a delay. That's not even going to sync up. Tom, picking his bands, where do I want to go? I'll go with FD, I like FD. That's not a matchup choice, that's a personal choice. I, did, I just, I do well there, as well as I ever do. I've been working all week. I've not had a lot of time for friendlies, sadly. But this is this is a banjo, a banjo. Yeah, it's a banjo that I've played very many times. So I will do my very best with creepier. Oh, I had a grenade. I did not even realize. Ooh, that caught me. I'm sure there are many helpful comments in chat, but I can't really read them right now. Trying very hard not to be too aggressive, because I know he's want he's wanting that. He's wanting me to come into him, and that's in my nature. So I'm trying really hard not to do it. Got a suplex. That's an uh, easy 20%. I'm still struggling very much to hit him, though. Another suplex. Oh, that canceled out soaring axe kick. right into that grenade. That's a good idea. Come on, Wonder Wing. I dare you. Come at me. No? 
give him a rapid jab. That's a good idea. That goes lower than I expected to. Come on. Oh! He was still on the stage. Come on! Ah! Oh! I'm sorry, that was probably very loud. I'm getting used to him. Not enough. God, why are you so thick, Banjo? Oh, he had a Wonder Wing left. Get off there. Get out of here. Go home, Banjo. I didn't suplex in time. There we go. All right, first stock. We're eat well. We're not even. As far as where we started the match, we're even. Why? I'm fine. Give you a bit of the beautiful falsetto. Ugh. Ooh, that grenade. Not gonna be too aggressive. Yeah, I get, I get projectiles too. They're just as good. Hopefully he believes that, because they're not. They're still pretty good, but they're not grenade good. Ooh! Ah, the grenade! That was that was planned. He had a he had a contingency for if that Wonder Wing missed. I usually do use uh, FMP. I figured shot put would be better for this matchup because Banjo is lithic. And I tend to prioritize FMP for uh, smaller characters who I want to die early. Getting a rapid jab. Ooh, he dodged the suplex. And that might be it. Nope, I'm still alive. I really got to avoid any future Wonder Wings. Oh, he ate my kick. Up tilt finishes me. I got another stock, but that was all I could do. My reactions while playing are top tier. Now, are you talking about like how quickly I respond to something in a game, or are you talking about? Ah! All right, let me update the score. The second one. Okay, thank you. So that is one more off the banjos, Tom. I. Yeah, one more. That's 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 minus one, right? I'm sorry, that was a typo. Minus one for the banjos and minus three for the brawlers. Banjo, it, banjo is tough. There is a reason that many players find him annoying to face. Then again, many players find the Mii's annoying to face for similar reasons. Shot put, not, not as good as Banjo Eggs necessarily, but as a very strong projectile. And me moves, me specials, are very spammable. Soaring Axe Kick in particular, which apparently, we learned, had an incorrect animation gif on the Smash Chords. Someone checked it and updated it, and the the uh, disjoint was way bigger than we thought it was. Which makes more sense, because we all knew in-game it was massive. The discoint, the discoint, the disjoint on Soaring Axe Kick is nasty. Yeah, Jif, like the peanut butter. Which is it that the creator insisted was the pronunciation? Was it GIF or JIF? I think it was JIF. And people didn't like that. 
Everyone had already gotten used to saying GIF, and they did—they just refused to say GIF. Okay, but counterpoint, name an, an English word that starts with G-I that has a, I, I, okay, the, wait, is it gimp or jimp? I always, conf I always forget that as well. Because gist is G-I-S-T. Pe people are spelling gimp, which is not helpful. Normally I would be showing chat on str on screen, but uh, chat gets a little bit crazy during crew battles. And I want the good footage. Get some ace professional banjo brawler smash footage. You just have to ignore the. Uh! All right, Tom. Down to one versus Phage's three stocks. Or if Nick is going to be watching this later. Get some pro banjo strats. Uh, yes, I archive all of my streams to YouTube, which you can find in the description below the below the chat. Fade using soaring axe kick and suplex as I did. Grenade for extra damage while being held. Oh no! I believe once you've used faint jump once in the air, you cannot use it again before standing on the ground. Which is kind of sad, given his status as a fast faller with limited recovery. They gotta do that to, to the Mies, and they gotta do that to Mac. He suplexes for the suicide! Banjo does not make it back! I wonder if that was impossible to recover from, or if Tom just did not react in time. Uh, he did die. He finished at one stock. Correct? So that was two stocks off the Brawlers and one stock off of Banjo. Uh, Peanut. Yes. The crew battles are... The scores you see are the number of stocks we have across all of our players. And they're accumulative. So Tom has gone through three matches. And now that we've taken off his three stocks, we move on to the next banjo player. Is how it works. Excuse me while I update the score. Brawlers are now down to 10 points versus banjo's 15. Tom did a number on the me brawlers. It's like a. Uh, Crew battles are similar to a big. Oh, what's the what's what's the game mode? The the team battle game mode. Squad strike. That's the one. Which someone was talking, I think it was BMZ, was talking in one of the me chords about how uh, 
It would be cool to see Squad Strike explored more as a competitive game mode. Which, it sounds fun. I figure the reason it's not really explored as much is because it requires people to have more than one character they're good at. And if people... I would reason if people stick to one main, they tend to get better, which leads to cooler looking matches. It's offline only as well, that's also, yeah. I mean, the only competitive Smash was offline only before the pandemic, though. No, no one took online tournaments seriously prior to that. Ready? You can practice online, that is true. Alright. Bones versus Phage. And Phage will have to take two of his stocks. Bones moonwalking. Can't say I've seen that before. Uh, they should have opened with a taunt. I don't know if Phage was aware of that, but... I guess Bones doesn't mind. BM. Oh, did Phage lose his faint jump? There goes his one stock immediately. That is one more point off the brawlers. Whoops. G is Gagel throwing shade? Gagel? Nigel? Alright, so. Phage is out. Bones the banjo. Moves on to our next me brawler. Is our next me brawler. Gagel wanted to write something encouraging, but ran out of time. Ooh, Wolkonex is up. Brawlers have saved their big hitters for the end. We've got Wolkonex, BMZ, and Big Lord. No pressure. This went about opposite in the Wario Crew battle, if I remember correctly, where the Brawlers got an early lead, got several stocks ahead, and then some nasty Warios at the very end of the line very nearly brought it back. And I believe the Brawlers won by a single stock. Hello, Landon. Welcome to the stream, and welcome to Brawler Cord. Yes, BMZ makes, uh... BMZ makes YouTube videos. Shout out to BMZ's YouTube videos. Go check those out. Big Lord is a very skilled me brawler from... Portugal? Ready? Question mark? And Wokonex is a main of all three Mies. Guacamole? Is that a sub or is that Wokonex? I think that's Wokonex. I can kind of tell by the movement despite his name being Guacamole. W Wokonex has his own kind of, uh, he he's got a schmoove. I believe Wolko is one of our Platinum Belts on Brawler Court, which would mean he has uh, tournament results with Brawler.
Banjo with the back throw. Wilco has an early lead. Very slight. You know, I can't even say that because Brawler is so much less meaty than Thick Banjo. And Wilco loses the first stock. And takes another stock with an up smash. It is one to one, zero to zero. Can't believe you guys like fighting Banjo without Thrupper. I is there something notable about Thrupper with Banjo? It failed several times in the first match. Banjo and Kabuti, thank you, Frisco. Woko being more aggressive than I usually see him play. Also running full, uh, flashing mock punch. Unlike the previous brawlers who have all been, uh, shot put. Rapid jab. Woko is taking significantly less damage. And he takes another stock. Woko is on to bone shit. Predicts the Wonder Wing for a suplex punish. Bones eaten nares. Lands a D throw into up air. Interrupts the Wonder Wing. He's got four of them left. Oh no! He misses the stock or the, the ledge. Wolko wins by two stocks. That's okay, we take those. Getting a stock off of Wolko next is itself impressive. One stock. That's three down for the Banjos and one down for the Brawlers. Next up, it looks like we have Wokonex versus Lavadu. I wouldn't want a Lavadu. That sounds painful. Oh yeah, Brawler, he moves. Especially these pro, brawl pro brawlers. Wilco is a joy to watch. I'm kind of sad no one wants to play counter throw against Banjo. It was discussed pretty early on. Like, if there's any matchup you might want to play counter throw with, it could arguably be Banjo, because, you know, it counters Wonder Wing, which is a big move of his, but even so, it's just, it's really just not worth giving up Faint Jump. It's just too important for Brawler. Hockey, Leo, Emperor, something or other. Also one of our Platinum Belts. Came into Brawler Court recently arguing that uh, Suplex was not very strong at high-level play. Or not as strong as uh, Burning Drop Kick. Which is a controversial opinion. But he has the results to have whatever opinions he wants to.
He claimed that uh, he did not really struggle against shields at high level play and therefore did not need suplex. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Here we know. I, I like I like his name in game. It's Hlavadil. Do you think that Woko goes by guacamole because he's got the sauce? Starting. There we go. Woken X versus Lava Dew. Give me a K. That's the whole cheer. Give me a K. All right. Woko takes off his one stock, and they're gonna taunt to start. I, I, I guess Lava Dew, you good to go, buddy? I th is he confused? What's going on? Y'all, y'all ready to go? You ready to fight Wokonex? This is this is a long con. This is this is the plan to run down the timer. It's very intentional. Woko's fallen for it, hook and hook, line, and sinker. There we go. Banjo refuses to fight me, Brawler. Uh... <laughs> it's the Gandhi match. It's a pacifist. No one's willing to attack each other. Alright, here we go. Woko lands the first hit. Gets a Nair into... I didn't even see what that was, but he started with 20%. Ooh. Lava gets sour nared off the la ledge. Is anyone gonna land the the, uh, the sack spike today? Wonderwig attempt. Wonderwig attempt at uh, ledge guarding. It was an anime stare down. That was a. I, I need to dub over that with Dragon Ball Z dialogue. The pacifism to violence combo is always true because no one expects the violence. Woko next with an F smash for the ban first banjo stock down. You think you can stop me, the prince of the bears? Woko still showing off the sauce. I do, uh, yeah, I do voice work. I mean, I'd like to do voice work. I do impressions. Woko with an FMP kill. That's two off of Lava. Can Lava take one stock off of Woko next? He's got him up to 63%. Wait, that was a rapid jab? Was I not paying attention? That wasn't an FMP. Oh, okay. You could have told me yes and I would have believed you. Oh, casters confused the two. No, I know Brawler. I'm just I'm juggling my attention between the match and chat. Another F smash. Woko takes a perfect match.
That's three off the banjos. Even it up to eight nine. Prepare for trouble. Eric Stewart, in the voice of James. Also the voice of Brock. There was a lot of shared voices in Pokemon. Misty and Jesse, I believe, are the same actress. I always forget her name, though. I was looking into, uh... Kaniku Man. Slash Ultimate Muscle, recently. And that had a lot of... That had a lot of English cast members... I wasn't expecting. I mean, it's a four kids dub, so they could, they share their uh, they share their same pool as Pokemon and those kinds of series. But Mike Pollock was in it, the voice of Eggman. And what was the name of the character? My, my Eggman plays a character named Alexandria Meat. Hawkeye Meehawk. That was the four kids dub of One Piece, which. Not, not not very popular. Not a popular dub. I don't know who I don't know the voices from Four Kids One Piece. Mike Pollock was in the Kirby anime. Who has? I know Eric Stewart was uh, Meta Knight, so it was it was Brock slash Kaiba doing just a suave Spanish Spanish voice. Mike Pollock was the mayor, Ma Mayor Eggman. All right. Next match. Woken X versus Luke. Three, two, one, go! Woken X takes off his one obligatory stock. Taunt to start, and they're good. I'll bet that Big Lord is uh, going last in the lineup to try to avoid a match across the pond, if possible. I don't know where all the banjos are from. Let me double check who this banjo is. I believe this is... Frozen. Catches the grenade, drops it! Haven't seen a lot of Z-drops. Wonderwing attempts an F-Smash follow-up does not connect. This Banjo prefers eggs over grenades. Which is more what I'm used to seeing. Gets the back air to get Woko off stage. Another attempted ledge guard with Wonderwing does not connect. Yeah, they are both eggs. Shut up, Big Lord. Woko juggling with up air. Regal Blaster. And an F Smash for a stock off of Woko. Jabbing in the opposite direction from their opponents. We had a back-to-back -back jab. Ooh, that was a low grenade. Lands a Wonder Wing. He is down to his very last Wonder Wing, though. Desperately avoiding using it to get back to stage, and he saves it. Ooh, up smash for a kill off Banjo. I'm sorry, Frozen, I should be using names. I'm going to assume that was an accidental head bounce. Catches grenade. 
More up airs. A dare from Banjo. Wolko is great at catching those grenades. He misses the ledge, and Luke, frozen, loses another stock. Twice that has happened to the Banjos now. Wolko with a faint jump spike. Not that it went anywhere, it usually doesn't. Still cool to see. Fair on Woko, who is at a very high percent, and Wonder Wing finishes it. The Wonder Wing ledge guard finally connects. That's two off for both parties. It's still close. It is now at 6 7. For Brawler Banjo. Banjo favored. Are these all American players? You know what? I'm not sure. I know Big Lord is not. Woko is Mexican, apparently. You're British? British? Isn't BMZ British? That's right, we're from the UK. A good British accent just removes all consonants. That was a little too cockney. That was more like that was more orc cockney. Like, right! We gonna mess up these uh, these here banjo bears real good. Welcome to the stream, Jack Septic Eye here, doing a little bit of Irish for the uh, commentary in Smash Brothers Ultimate. We got a little bit of uh, Frozen Luke here against uh, Purpley Derp. Oh, that's a fun name to say is Purpley Derp. Purpley Derpley. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm not serious enough for joke record. Luke, starting at one stock. Alright, purpley derp. Only has one stock to go through. Rapid Jab sends Purpley out. Purpley is at a damage disadvantage thus far. Misses the grab and the D-tilt. Purpley is doing very well avoiding damage. Now, Wonder Wing just barely nicks a hit. Faint jump kick closes the distance. Purpley kind of, uh, keeping a distance. Not wanting to get right up in Banjo's face. Shields the up smash. Shields the F smash. Shield, shield, shields. That was almost it. Banjo is too thick. And D smash finishes the match. Purpley takes the stock off of Frozen. We are now even at 6-6. Six, six.
That's right, we saved our best brawlers for last. They've got a tall order to get through the last few of them. Actually, Purple Eater, I believe, was a sub. Which means BMZ has opted out. Or had something going on, I suppose. Do you think he'd have a problem with me saying purpley derbly? Well, you know, it's it's uh, it's okay there if you uh, make fun of all the accents, including... See, I'm American. I can do the American accents. You go uh, Minnesota here, and uh, a little bit of Minnesota is like a Canadian-American. You got Wisconsin? And you got the down-home country redneck voice. Everyone's got a down-home redneck voice. It ain't nothing special. Hello, Foxy. It's nice to meet you, too. So who is this? This is not Frozen. Assuming it is not a substitute, this would be Ramen. Karen? Is that is that the Karen voice? Is Wisconsin? Why why can't everyone just be good and use the same voice same name they use on Discord? Why you gotta make the job hard? Purpley Derp versus Ramen. Ramen making full use of all of Banjo's projectiles with a swarm of both neutral bees and grenades. Wonderwing on the ledge for a very early, a perfect kill. Purpley having a very hard time approaching. I do not envy his position right now. Bon bonks him with the up B platform. That was just mean. Ramen taking full advantage of the projectiles to not approach. Purpley gets a combo off. Loses advantage, though. He loves dropping that platform from above. I guess it's not as much of a commitment as other characters, because Banjo is still free to act after his up special. Rapid jab on the shield. Doesn't finish it. Wonder Wing. Another attempted ledge guard with it. Purpley doesn't manage to capitalize. Testing out the rapid jab. Another rapid jab into Wonder Wing Punish. I'm sorry, I can't I can't improv and do the newscaster voice at the same time. Dropping platforms into a banjo nair into a fair cross counter. I think that was a nair from Purpley Derp? Soaring Axe Kick does not kill Thick Banjo. Faint Jump Kick does not kill Thick Banjo. He's over 170%. I believe Purpley can get a stock off. That shield is dangerously low. That would have been a good thrupper spot. Up smash! He takes a stock! I don't think anyone's expecting a second stock. It'd be cool, but he got, he got what he came for.
Ooh, F smash. He shields it. Doesn't follow up. Ramen is do is doing monstrous damage to Purpley Shield. That might just be Purpley Shielding a lot, though. Is that a that's a D throw? Misses the follow up. Back air. Man, a suicide would be a great way to end this if he could manage it. Come on, Banjo, come off stage. Pursue him. You know you want to. D tilt finishes the match. How many did Purpley start with? Was, did he have all three? I know that is one off of the Banjos. Yeah, Purpley started with three. The score is now five to three, Banjo favored. All that is left defending the brawlers is the boss. The biggest of lords. What wacky costume has he brought to the to the arena today? What has he used? He was Giovanni against the Jigglypuffs. Was he Wario against Walu or was he Waluigi against Wario? Uh, big Lord, Peanut believes in you. Petch. He was Petch in a previous crew battle. Oh, Big didn't get to play versus the Warios. I, it'd be nice if there was a, uh, a Gruntilda skin, or a Gruntilda outfit. We didn't get that. We got Gruntilda Banjo, which is kind of weird. Alright, it looks like they're going to Small Battlefield. Conker would have been a cool costume. Let's discuss that me. My, my me? This is my 1312. His name is Creepier. Because he's not a creeper, he's creepier. Alright. Big Lord versus Vader. I'm sorry, not Vader. This is still Ramen. We haven't gotten to Vader yet. We have another Banjo to get to. Big Lord versus Ramen. Three, two, one, go! And Ramen needs to take one of his stocks. Ramen? Hello? There he goes. Is that Groose? I think it's maybe it is maybe it is supposed to be Kazooie. Or a Jinjo? It still just looks like Groose to me. Big Lord eats the grenade and a fair. Faint jump spike into back air. E grabs another grenade. Just shields it. All the explosives. This is going to be a cooked bird. Big Lord is sporting a uh, thrust uppercut. Which we saw in the first match today. Thrust Uppercut actually kills Thick Banjo! Ooh, F-Smash is just out of range. 
Can Big Lord take another one? Ooh, he eats a stock to up smash. We're now about even. If Big Lord takes this next stock, he will be going two to three against the final Banjo. That's a, that itself is a big if. Ramen is no joke. He is the rawest of men. Struggling to land a hit. D throw into thrust uppercut finishes the match. The deadly thrupper combo. All right, Big Lord is going into the final match, two to three against the Banjos. On small battlefield, he didn't—he didn't even have a top platform. And that is the reason to use Thrupper. We're up to our final match. It is Vader versus Big Lord in a 3 2. You got to talk fast for the for the for the newsreel voice is the thing, which means you have to improv fast. And I ain't good at improving fast. Do we have a new pog yet? That was a new story recently. Is the is the pog champ guy the face of the emote? Came out in favor of the of all the political stuff, the the, the, the political stuff, the, the raid of the White House, and uh, Twitch wanted to disassociate with that. So we got a new. I guess we got a new pog, and is it female? Oh, it's different every day. Interesting. Well, that's one way to handle it. Alright, Big Lord has banned FD, Kalos, and Smashville. It looks like they're going to Stadium 2. Kazoo is beating up Banjo. Yes, that's my favorite character, Kazoo, the bird. I, I, that's actually perfect. It's not, the Kazooie me isn't Kazooie, it's Kazoo. It's not Mario, it's Morio. Or Mayro. Sanic. Bonk. And Spamus. We talked prior to the crew battle about what uh, Banjo without Kazooie would be like. And he would have like three moves. Kazooie does so much more work in the moveset than Banjo does. All right, here we go. Big Lord versus Vader. Kazooie versus Banjo. Sorry, Kazoo versus Gruntilda. Quote, unquote, Gruntilda. Here we go, the final match. 3-2. Banjo favored. Let's see who can win it. Big Lord with some, uh, up tilts. Gets an early combo. Vader stays on ledge. Has not landed a hit yet. There he goes. Rapid jab, but Big Lord runs out, just walks right out of it. 
Vader also attempting to drop some stuff. Big Lord covering his recovery with Shot Put. Often overlooked but important aspect of Shot Put. Misses the Thrupper. Eats a Wonder Wing. Big Lord is at the higher percent and fair. It is now 3 to 1. At least we haven't seen anyone get egg get egg jimped. Gimps? Jiff. Off the off the stage. That did not happen today. I probably just jinxed Big Lord. Mm, another Wonder Wing. And a grenade. Big Lord is eating a lot of damage. Banjo is too thick for up smash. Fresh Nair gets some damage and distance. Ooh. Goes for a D smash to cover the, le the uh, ledge options. Does not connect. People are being surprisingly aggressive. Then again, I said that about Wilco next, and he did great. just needs to land his finisher. There's the Thrupper. 89% versus two stocks. 100%. Mm, that was a bad time to drop shield. Lands a suplex for some percent. And is that it? That's it. With a Wonder Wing to finish, the Banjos win the crew battle 2-0. That was close. It could have gone either way. Our final score. That's right, the Banjos only won because they played well. Stupid bears. Stupid birds. The birds did all the work. Well, that's our crew battle. Thank you guys for watching. I'll probably do a stream with my buddy Jack in a couple hours if you want to come back for that. This will be on YouTube. YouTube channel is here. It is in the description below the Twitch feed. Or you can just ask me on Discord. I have a Discord. I hang out there. I'll see you guys later.